loves to wallpaper. He has a passion for anything with a history. And he's worked for the state now for nearly 30 years, bringing history to life. And he is this week's Someone You Should Know. But ours is even self returning. Jonathan Campbell can tell you pretty much anything about the former governor's mansion in the capital city. He's the site supervisor for the historic site, as well as Camp Hancock, but that's not where he started. I actually started out as the fossil preparator for the North Dakota Geological Survey. He did this for about 11 years and decided he needed a change. Since history was always a big part of his life, he accepted a job as the summer interpreter at Camp Hancock State Historic Site. My stepfather was big into history, and so, you know, I was absorbed what was going on so I had an interest in that history and it just kind of it just kind of rolled into this after one summer at Camp Hancock he was asked to work at the former governor's mansion as well and he never looked back Jonathan is happy to share all he knows with those touring the mansion but he does have his favorite parts all the wallpapers there's a uh, over the years there every governor uh, probably re-wallpapered at some point, and there was, there was 20 governors that lived here. They'd tell a story of, of change, you know, as the styles changed. Jonathan also has plenty of responsibilities as site supervisor, but there are some he especially enjoys. My favorite part of the job is doing restoration. You know, when there's restoration at works, that's really my passion is, uh, is to I want to preserve the history, but we have to we have to maintain a balance. Uh, we have places where children over the years uh, uh, put graffiti, you know, things like that. It's very important. It's the whole the whole picture, saving everything you can, you know, for future generations. Despite his work as site supervisor, many may be surprised by Jonathan's background. I am not a historian. A lot of people think just assume that I'm a historian, but I actually have a degree in visual art something of which he continues to pursue today. I am a full member with the Bismarck Downtown Artist Cooperative. Twice I've been an artist in resident in state parks. Jonathan Campbell, a man who loves to bring history to life, is someone you should know. And uh, actually about the wallpaper, uh -huh. they, the original wallpaper was put upside down. They didn't know that. So a gentleman came in to put up their new wallpaper because they put up a, a new one to give a better view of it. And he said, do you want me to put it upside down? And they're like, why? And he said, because the original wallpaper was put oh, upside down. So the leaves were falling upwards I instead see. of downwards. So people had to like do one of these things when they were <laughs> going to the governor's mansion. Yes. They walk out like, why are those yeah. people's neck? Oh, so you'll yeah. see the wallpapers upside down. Great.